Hey guys, this is Christian with reviews on this and that. Today I'll be showing you how to remove and replace or even upgrade your own memory or RAM, which is another name for memory, on your Lenovo laptop. And this Lenovo laptop is basically, uh, it's, it's model number G as in Gary 580. Again, this is a black Lenovo laptop, model number G 580. And one, th one thing you need, always need to understand and keep in mind is Anytime you replace or upgrade to a higher capacity on any laptop or any tower of, of any type of Windows, you always need to understand that you need to order the proper type of memory. As, of course, there's four different types of memory. There's DDR1, DDR2, DDR3, and uh, pretty soon in the future there's going to be DDR4. I believe it's coming out. I believe it's going to be introduced uh, here pretty recently. I mean pretty shortly so um, we're gonna get to see what type of memory this laptop takes okay and that way I'll show you guys a good example of how to properly and safely remove and upgrade it so let's go ahead and get started you basically want to unplug your power cord you want to shut down windows properly um, you want to unplug any flash drives any external hard drives um, any printers or scanners or smartphones pretty much unplug everything from the laptop that way that you have you don't have anything you know you don't have any hassle in the way of, of getting this quick project done okay so basically you want to close your unit and then you want to turn it upside down as I said before and I will always say it anytime you replace any type of components inside of any computer you always want to remove the battery especially on laptops okay so these are the two battery release buttons you want to remove this to the right hand side which is in the unlock position and you press this one to the left as you as you're pushing it to the left with one finger use your other hand to snap out the battery, it just basically slides right out. We're going to put this on the side, okay. And what you will need for today's project is a small, is a small uh, screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver to be exact, preferably a smaller one with a small with a smaller tip, just like you notice here. And what we're going to do, you're probably thinking, well, where is my hard drive? Where's my memory? Where's all the goodies? They're actually placed all under here, underneath this uh, plastic cover here. Which you will, we will go ahead and remove now these two uh, Phillips uh, screws right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And what I personally use as a cobalt um, magnetic ratcheting screwdriver set, which comes very handy for these type of jobs. Okay, now you're probably wondering, well, how does that actually come apart when there's only two screws? Well, what you will, I don't know if you noticed. But this is actually one big piece of plastic that's covering pretty much the entire bottom of the laptop. What you want to do is you want to hold the laptop down, not pressing anywhere on this piece. And then this piece actually slides that way away from the laptop, like towards towards the front of the laptop. Basically, you basically push that up. As you see, it slides out about maybe a quarter of an inch and then you just lift it. And there it is. So now the part, let's put this on the side. Now the part, you're probably wondering where's my memory module, they're actually right here. And what you want to do is, you see these two metal um, releasing uh, tabs? You want to push them away from the memory module. This one, we're going to push this one to the right. Push this one with your finger to the left. And then you will notice that the memory module becomes free and actually lifts up by itself. Then you want to just, you know, just snag that out, out of there. Now this right here actually has, um, let's see what this has right here. Try to show you guys here in the camera. I believe this is a 4 gig module. Yes it is, if you pay attention right here on the top right. Okay, sorry guys. Uh, yeah, this is a 4 gig module. This is the original one that came with the laptop, okay? And we're going to replace that with an 8 gig module. Okay, now if you notice it's very important. You see how these memory modules have a notch right here? Okay, along the teeth, that's what I like to call them. You want to make sure this notch um, matches up with, with, with how, however the motherboard is set up on the laptop so basically you want to flip this over move this closer so you guys can see and you want to put this right in here you want to 
you want to snag that in okay slide it back in firmly then what you want to do is you want to press down on the memory module and you hear it you can hear it snap back in place if you don't hear that snapping or if you don't install the memory the memory properly on any computer most likely the computer will not power on and that's most of the time that's what happens a good 95 percent chance okay then what you want to do now is bring this guy and this is basically going to go on the same way it came back on I mean it came off sorry and basically you put this on you lay it on here flat and then you f you and then you push towards you basically basically slides back in place and then you put these two screws back on here it's pretty simple to be honest you just have to make sure that you order the prop proper type of memory for your unit as there are several different types of memory modules out there different types and of course different capacities once you put these two, two screws back on you're pretty much all set be honest and then the way you, you install the battery back on you put you align it with the back the back piece of the the back part of the laptop you slide it back in you can hear it snap back in place you want it locked back in place and you are all set guys we just upgraded a uh, this Lenovo G580 model from 4 gigs of memory to 8 gigabytes of memory. So if you guys like my videos and you want to see some more similar ones, please go ahead, like, comment, or subscribe, and I will see you guys in the future.